slippers here. So first of all, I had severe cystic acne for almost three years. Um, it got really bad. I was, I had been taking Adderall for years at this point and my adrenals were definitely just under a lot of stress. I had horrible cystic acne. I was eating paleo keto, fairly low carb. I spent so much money on laser treatments. I got on birth control for it. I took spironolactone. Um, I took, let's see, I used, um, oh man, something that starts with a C on my face. It was a prescription. I spent a lot of money and I did a lot of things that I didn't feel right doing, but it was cystic acne is torture. So if you've had bad skin, I would just really let you know it does get better. It's gonna get better. If you lean into your nutrition, healing the skin truly comes from the inside out. Um, some of my clients, whether it's autoimmune or just hormonal, the animal fat is what makes a huge difference. So I'm going to share a picture of one of my clients, Lisa, who has been brave enough to share her um, her before and after pictures. And it's just one of my favorites um, because she is the prime example of someone who is not afraid to eat fat. In fact, um, she was there at my first retreat in the fall of 21 and I was eating steaks and um, she was just eating the fat. So basically she was eating all the fat, I was eating her extra protein. It was a great combo, but this woman, um, she eats the brain, she eats the suet, she eats the high fat cuts, the chops, and truly her skin transformed like crazy. Now there were definitely some other things that we implemented together, but it was truly a holistic approach. And she had um, steroid skin topical withdrawals. Um, so it wasn't just a hormonal thing, I wanna make that clear. But for the clients that I do work with where it's just hormonal, fat is equally as important. Fat supports our sex hormones, it supports our central nervous system, it helps to heal our gut, it also helps to push toxins out of our body fat cells and out of our bodies. So the right type of fat is also very important. Um, when I think back to when I had cystic acne, like I said, I was doing like a paleo keto approach, so that meant sweet potatoes every day. Um, I ate, I love sweet potatoes, and when I'm in heaven, I will ask God to eat them every day because they are so good. Um, but I think that was really exacerbating a lot of my issues. It's a lot of sugar, honestly, but also just the quality of my sleep and the fact that I was running on Adderall, so my androgens were very, very high. And high androgens means oily skin, cystic acne, and it was painful and I spent about two hours in front of the mirror every day to cover it up. And um, I remember being in real estate, I was the director of first impressions for the Keller Williams in Raleigh, North Carolina. So that was over 140 real estate agents and I was representing the company at the front desk. And I just remember that, that being so tough, especially in the summer because I would go out to my car to have my break and I would start sweating and my makeup would start running and clumping. I would get it really bad around my chin and it was just so hard to cover up. I was constantly, um, my skin couldn't breathe and I used the best quality products, you guys. I really did as much as I could think to do. Um, nothing made a difference. Nothing made a difference until I addressed nutrition. So I was high oxalate, probably eating too many carbs. I was high stress and my gut was severely damaged. I think those are the things that really played a role into all of that. My hormones were really jacked up. I didn't have enough body fat on my body, which is an element that will raise your androgens. So I also work with some younger women generally who are underweight and they have bad cystic acne. So regardless of their diet, their acne is still bad. So there can be a transition period where you're gaining healthy weight and when you get that body fat on your body, it actually will help to balance out those androgens. Um, so that's another component is actually being a healthy weight, especially as a woman. Things that can make it worse, smoking marijuana can definitely make acne worse um, and poor hygiene can actually make it worse. But if you are eating well, it's 
pretty hard to have bad skin. And I'm a prime example of this. So I sweat like crazy, um, which is something that's also great for skin. And I've talked about my sauna before. Check out my sauna giveaway video. The sauna is great because it does allow you to sweat and that's gonna push toxins out of your skin. I also sweat at CrossFit and there are days that I go to CrossFit with Tyler and I don't get back home to actually like rinse my face from the sweat um, thoroughly for a couple of hours. If that happened before, I would have like 10 new breakouts. My face would be in pain, red, inflamed. Now, if I get one pimple, it's probably because something, I got sweat in there or dirt in there and it's gone, like overnight. Um, something that is really helpful for this is the Aussie Trace Minerals Magnesium Spray. It's just pure magnesium. I usually spray this on the bottom of my feet before I go to bed. Um, and if I have tight hips from CrossFit, I spray it on my hips. Actually, on my cycle, when I get really hot at night, um, I just spray it on my whole body and I lay there and it cools me down in bed. But that stuff is awesome. And magnesium is actually more um, absorbed through the skin better. And there are some other things like that that I'm getting ready to talk about. But this magnesium spray, um, when I met Jay from Aussie Trace Minerals, Jay is an incredible human being. I just, I really hope I get to, the chance to meet him in person. Um, we got on the phone together and he told me just all these things about minerals that I never knew. And the story about this stuff is pretty cool. So his son, when he was in high school, started selling this to other kids in high school to help them with their acne. So Jay said, if you ever get a breakout, just spray it right on there. And that's what I do. If I ever start to get a pimple, if it's around my cycle or whatever happened, um, I just spray it directly on my face and it's gone. Like usually by the next morning, I kid you not. Now, this is not cystic acne. This is a small pimple from a clogged pore or something like that. Um, but in the summertime, I do like to just spray this on my face. And when you go to bed, it'll dry, your skin will absorb it. And then in the morning, what I do every morning is I wash my face with cold water. One, cold water is going to lower cortisol. It's a quick way to lower your stress hormone. Cortisol is splashing cold water on the face. So I know that in the morning when I wake up around 4.30, anywhere between 4.30 and 6, it's a good time to try to lower your cortisol because that's when it's peaking. Um, so I just splash the cold water on my face face and I don't really use anything on my skin. If I do use anything, it's going to be a tallow um, soap bar from North Star Bison. North Star Bison, my discount code is in the description and right here it is tailored. Um, this company is incredible not only for their meat but because they have these bison tallow based soap bars and chapsticks. Now, if you've looked at any of the tallow-based, you know, animal fat-based skincare lines or Instagrams or whatever, they are pretty expensive. Um, these soap bars are beautiful, different colors and stuff like that, but it's like $20 for a bar of soap. North Star Bison is $8 for a bar of soap that lasts me two months. Their chapstick is like $2, it goes on sale a lot, and it's pure, it's clean. So if I do have dirt or something that I wanna actually scrub off of my face, I will use the tallow soap from North Star Bison, but typically I'm just splashing my face with um, cold water. <clears throat> so I covered the magnesium spray for breakouts. What I do to wash my face is just cold water. And then the last thing I want to talk about for skin is Alive by Science. Okay, so this company um, is the first company that I reached out to when I wanted to get into nootropics. Nootropics are just um, new, a natural substance that helps to biohack your body and your health to improve your health. I used nootropics to get off my medications, but that would include like tyrosine, supplements you've probably heard of. But there are some other new, nootropics that I've talked about, like Kratom. That's a nootropic. It's made from the evergreen tree leaf. So this would be considered a nootropic, but it's just a supplement. This is pure NMN. NMN has a host of benefits. And I actually wrote these down because every time I wanna talk about NMN, I'm like, I don't know what to say. It, it's everything. And it sounds silly to say something is just great for everything, but it really is. This is something that would be great to gift anyone. 
and it's a safe gift for anyone. NMN is naturally occurring in the body, but it's something that is reduced with age, with, with time for anyone. It is more depleted in someone who has experienced chronic illness um, or heart, you know, heart disease or anything like that. Um, so that's why I was really interested in it because as I was healing, um, I wasn't even taking any pre-workout from Redmond Relight or caffeine, but I was like, nootropics are pretty cool and this seems like something that I would be depleted in. So I started taking it and um, so benefits of NMN brief. Number one, it promotes longevity. Like I said, we, the amount that our body produces decreases with age and it is like the anti-aging supplement. Um, it keeps us young. It is partially responsible for DNA repair. It promotes insulin sensitivity, fat burning. It enhances energy, it enhances memory. It prevents physical and cognitive decline. I can attest to all those things, that's why I wrote them down. There are so many other benefits, but I wrote down those ones because I've experienced all of them with this stuff. Um, it's not a stimulating supplement. It just seems like there's a boost in my endurance, in my stamina. My sleep is a little bit deeper. deeper. My focus is even more clear. It's great stuff. I gifted it to my parents for last Christmas and I'll probably do it again. Um, so they also make lotion. That's a, this is their transdermal body serum with liposomal NAD complex, vitamin D3, and glutathione. So this is my favorite skin product by Alive by Science, and um, they're actually now Renew by Science. Um, they have a different name now, so I should start saying that uh, eventually. So this is a liposomal serum, which means that it is absorbed through the skin. So the skin is actually the best way to absorb NAD and NMN. So that's why I love this stuff, but um, I'm gonna open this brand new one for you guys. And I love this one because I, I actually see some skin tightening effects. Um, women, men probably not so much, but women, you guys have probably bought the stuff that's supposed to make your cellulite look smoother or firm and tighten your skin. I've done it in the past. Um, I used to just be really self-conscious about my legs. Praise God I'm not anymore because of proper nutrition. But this stuff does tighten my skin and brighten my skin in a very positive way and I like to put it on my face. Now this is for your whole body and you can rub it on your whole body, but I like to put it on my face. It's just clear, it's just clear, and you can put it anywhere in your body. Um, I love it, it's brightening, and this is not just something for your skin, this is a supplement that is being absorbed into your body and it's gonna be used for all those benefits I just talked about. So it's a double whammy, it's a dual thing. And they have a bunch of different um, skincare products, you know, with rosemary extract, they're all extremely clean, and I just love this company. So my client, Lisa, that I showed her picture earlier, she was using this stuff. And that's someone who would be extremely careful with the products that you're putting on your face, obviously. Um, and it worked well for her. So I highly recommend them. My code is tailored 10. My code is tailored 10 for Renew by Science products, all of them. Um, they are also incredible people to talk to. If you hit them up on Instagram, send them an email, they will respond and um, I just love them. That's another set of people that I would really love to meet and hang out with in person. Um, so other skin things that I could recommend, eat liver every day. Maybe just one ounce of liver, there's no need to overdo it. Actually, I would be careful because it's very rich in vitamin A and there's such thing as vitamin A toxicity. Um, so I just aim for a hunk of liver, raw frozen liver, about this size. I eat that almost every day. Um, so vitamin A is great for your skin. Again, sweating, I couldn't emphasize it more. Just to sweat out those toxins, get your blood flowing, it's really great for the skin. Um, I don't really do any like skin brushing or buffing or anything, but I think that can be good if you have layers of dead skin to do that occasionally. But I. I would actually strongly discourage the use of harsh products on your skin. So we have a layer on our skin 
that is broken when we use things with salicylic acid or like the Stridex wipes, alcohol, it breaks this protective layer of our skin to remove the oil. And all it does, you know, if you are using a facial product that makes your skin very tight and like squeaky clean, you're breaking that, that oil barrier of your skin. You don't want to do that. It's just going to make you more oily. Um, so that's why I love that I'm at this place in life where I'm just using water on my skin. It's happy. I think I have pretty good skin. It's, you know, nothing to brag about, but compared to where I once was, praise God, praise God. Cystic acne was a horrible phase and I hardly have any pictures of myself during that time. It was really, really hard. Um, so honestly, healthy skin comes from the inside out. I've shared a couple of things that can help you with that time when you're going through a time where, you're, where you have breakouts, you're prone to them, but um, the last thing that I use on my skin is pure tallow. When I cook billy dough meats, um, I save that fat, but especially the lamb fat, and honestly, it smells fluorescent. I have a recipe on my Instagram to make homemade body lotion from tallow, but um, I don't even really do that anymore. I just use the tallow straight. Um, I'll just gather it in a mason jar or a little ram pin and just smear it on my body and it smells fluorescent. Now, be careful, you know, depending on the animal that you use. I did that once when I cooked a turkey carcass and I rubbed the towel on my body and I smelled like a turkey for like two days after I showered multiple times. Um, so be careful with the type of towel you use if you're not going to use oils, essential oils to um, add a scent. but. Just keep it natural. Healing comes from the inside out, proper nutrition, balancing your hormone. And this is why I talk about supporting your body um, at a systemic level, which involves your central nervous system, your immune system, your hormones, healing the gut. When you do that, your body is going to heal. It's going to thrive and skin is a part of that. Skin is something that, I think that skin issues show up when you're doing something wrong. And skin issues are also one of the last things to heal when you're healing because again healing happens from the inside out your body is probably prioritizing other things before it gets to the skin sometimes your skin will look worse before it gets better this is detox you could be oxalate dumping you could be detoxing your hormones could be going through a different flux and they're going to level out so just keep fueling yourself properly um, so that's it